Are you living in pain? Is it joint pain or muscle pain? If so, stay tuned. Welcome to Living Pain-Free with Dr. Mark Darrow from the Joint Rehab and Sports Medical Center in West Los Angeles. This is the program that can give you effective solutions for the pain that you've been living with. Dr. Darrow is a medical doctor board certified through his studies at UCLA, and Dr. Darrow uses stem cell and platelet-rich plasma therapy to heal your body. He teaches about the use of stem cells, PRP, and prolotherapy. Today's program could open up a new life without pain for you. To speak with Dr. Darrow, call 866-870-KRLA. That's 866-870-5752. Ask for a copy of Dr. Darrow's book, Stem Cell and Platelet Therapy. Now, here's Dr. Darrow with his co-host, Nita Valens. Well, hi there, Dr. Darrow, and hi, Dr. Grove. Hello to you. Yeah, how are you guys doing today? Terrific. How about you, Dr. Grove? Living it up on this beautiful day in Southern California. Yep, it it sure is. It's always a beautiful day here. So we're going to talk today about uh, stem cell and platelet therapy, how to regenerate instead of operating on the body, how to save yourself from a needless surgery. And what Dr. Grove and I find all day, every day, really are needless surgeries. And I know that the culture of medicine is to medicate and operate, but uh, we're helping move the needle on that and change it more to the future. And I've been doing this work um, close to 30 years. Dr. Groh has been doing it about a dozen years. And he is um, he's actually a better injector than I am. He knows ultrasound better than I do. So I'm really very grateful, and my patients are very grateful to have him on staff. And um, it's amazing to watch his work. I like to just sit in with him sometimes and have him explain what he's doing with the ultrasound. It's the type of ultrasound that looks inside the body like a camera. It's live. And um, live is a lot better than a static film like an MRI or X-ray because you can move the body around and see what's going on right there. And it's much more sensitive to see what's happening. It's much more realistic. Uh, We know that MRIs overly uh, see things that aren't there like ACL ruptures Um, oftentimes we see them on MRI, we go in to operate, and we're like, voila, what's going on? That ACL is there. So you have to be very careful. Um, Surgery is, in our office, not an option unless it's some kind of a disastrous event, an emergency, and then we send people right to the surgeons. We often get a surgical consult just to make sure we're not missing anything from their point of view. Different cultures, not one is good and the other bad. It's not about that. It's all about we need to open our minds up and include all types of medicine, not just one side or the other. We are partial to regenerative medicine using stem cells and platelets because it's easier for the patient. It's cheaper for the medical system. Um, instead of going to a hospital and getting a surgery that may cost you 150 grand, you can come in and get a few injections and often heal up like that. So, um, Dr. Grove, I'm going to put this on you for a second, but first I'm going to give out the phone number so folks can call Dr. Grove and myself. So the phone number to the studio, get a pencil and write it down. We'd love to hear from you. It's 866 870 Five seven five two. That's eight six six eight seven zero five seven five two. And I'm going to give you another phone number, which uh, you can call the office actually and get a free phone count consult with our staff. And that phone number to the office is eight hundred three hundred ninety three hundred. And then for those of you that want to watch videos of us doing these procedures, the phone number, I'm sorry, the website with tons of videos and tons of pages of information on the science of stem cells and platelets. And um, there's a spot on every page of the website to email us. We answer every email every day. So you get your answers that way too. We love to communicate. Dr. Grove and I are big listeners big talkers <laughs> we have a we have a great time i'll vote for that 
<laughs> so, so the website is www.jointrehab.com. That's www.jointrehab.com. And um, you can email us on every page there. Uh, if you are reading it and you get some questions, the email spot is right there. Once more, I'm going to give the phone number out so you can talk to us live if you'd like to. And the phone number is 866-870-5752. And as a bonus, we are going to mail you out for free. We pay the postage um, on our book, Stem Cell and Platelet Therapy, Regenerate, Don't Operate. I'm showing that to the camera right now so people can get a look at how beefy this book is, how full of science it is. And we're all about the science. Dr. Grove reads science every night late. And uh, he, we come in and we talk about what he's discovered the night before. So this book is a couple hundred pages. It's got 256 scientific studies on platelets and stem cells and how they can heal your body and how you don't need surgery. I'm going to show a picture to the camera right now. This is what's called a pedicle screw, uh, screw fusion. This is metal in the back. If you ever saw one of these surgeries, you would never get one, but they're being done all day long all over the world. And it's uh, we find that people that have these fusions have problems later. The, the level above and below have so much pressure, they break down. Then there's a second surgery, then a third surgery. Dr. Grove, you were telling me about one of our patients, I think it was, or someone you spoke to that had five back surgeries. Is that correct? Yeah, we've had a couple uh, this week. There were some pretty sad stories. Um, and again, it's just the, the whole idea is we would rather try a more conservative treatment before we consider surgical treatment. Unfortunately, a lot of times in our orthopedic culture, it's see the surgeon first and see if it's something that you can operate on, right? And as we talk about many times in this show, that decision might be made solely on what someone's image looks like. And you might not even consider trying to heal the tissue. You just go in and try to what we call surgically fixate or put in maybe some foreign uh, metal to give some support to that area. So back surgeries are something that are very common that uh, typically result in subsequent surgeries. So like Doc talked about, if you have you know one level that's fused, a lot of times you'll put more pressure on that level above and below. So then you're more likely to have another surgery down the line. And again, surgery is not without its own risks with anesthesia and infection risks, or the surgery might not work, or the hardware might become loose, not to mention the, the time of rehab from a surgery. So, uh, yeah, we had a couple tough cases this week. I had a really tough one. Um, a gentleman had a knee replacement and over a couple of years uh, underwent 15 surgeries for this knee, which was uh, definitely one of the higher that I've ever heard of, but unfortunately was battling with post-operative infection was battling with the joint replacement metal actually becoming loose and have to have subsequent revisions. So we see these tough cases, and that's why we're so passionate about it, is we don't want to subject patients to those sort of risks unless we really think it's appropriate. And again, so we do doc, think... Oh, Dr. Go ahead, Grove, doc. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just butt in here for a second Yeah. because um, you can even talk faster than I can. That's that's a miracle. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to give out the phone number so you folks can call us and we can share some love together and hopefully get you healed because that's what this is all about. It's loving patients. And Dr. Grove and I both um, really have, I think, that talent, you might say, or that love of loving people, which is why we're in the field. We we absolutely love watching people heal. A lot of times people meet me at a party. They go, what do you do for a living? I go, I watch people heal. And Dr. Grove is the same. We just love happy people, and we get it all day long. Um, so I'm going to give out the phone number. You can call us live right now at 866-870-5752. That's 866-870-5752. If you want to call the office and get a free consult with our staff, the phone number to the office is 800 300 300 And go to the website. You can email us there at www.jointrehab.com. And for calling in, you'll get a free copy of our book, Stem Cell and Platelet Therapy, Regenerate, Don't Operate. Uh, the foreword of the book is written by Suzanne Summers. And uh, there's a statement on the back, believe it or not, from Dr. Dre. <laughs> I've seen tons and tons of rappers and athletes, and Dr. Grove is, is uh, I'd say, on the famous side for 
dealing with very, very high level athletes. So Dr. Grove, I'm going to put you on the spot yeah. because people are always saying, especially doctors, they're going, well, there's no science behind any of this. It's, it's false. It can't be, you can't grow tissue. What's the story on that? Yeah, so the level one evidence, which is the highest level uh, sort of study that you can do, there is plenty. There's a whole body. Again, uh, Dr. Book does a really great job of uh, pointing out some of these really groundbreaking studies. Uh, and again, you know, 30 years ago, a lot of times we didn't have these results that we do now. When you're doing a, a proper randomized controlled trial in humans, meaning you're having, you know, humans as your uh, subjects that you're studying, it's in a proper research environment, you're actually measuring, you know, where you're putting the product, how much product you're putting in, specifying what sort of product that you're putting in. Uh, yeah, the last 10 years has been a huge body of research coming out with level one evidence looking at platelets, looking at stem cells for common orthopedic conditions. Um, arthritis is definitely the, the hot topic in terms of research. That's the area we see the most amount of papers coming out on. Again, arthritis is what happens when your uh, cartilage wears out uh, in a joint. So for example, knee arthritis, uh, which is a very common condition that we see. So, so what, what's, out there. what's the actual science on it, though, Dr. Over? How can this possibly work? All the orthopedic surgeons tell me it can't work. So we think regenerative medicine works on a couple of different ways. So the tools we have in our toolbox include platelets and stem cells. So we can talk about that for a moment here. Platelets are going to be the component of blood that helps some of the tissue heal. So the way that we do that is we draw some blood from the arm like you're giving a blood sample. From there, we put it into a centrifuge, which is this device that spins the blood down uh, super fast. And what that does, it's going to pull the different cellular components into different layers. So what we can do is pull out the growth factors, pull out the platelets, which are thought to be the, the healing components of blood. And these are just the natural ways that our body heals. So uh, we talk about all the time, we wish we could take credit for our you know great clinical skill and evaluation skills, but these cells are pretty amazing. So the, the challenge that we have is just to take those cells, concentrate them, and deliver them to the area that we want to heal under ultrasound guidance. So, so I, get, when, I get all that, but you know what I hear when I've lectured at hospitals at their educational seminars is the, you know, everybody loves this stuff. And then there's typically a couple orthopedic surgeons that come and go, where's the science? What is the science? We don't believe it. So what is the actual science? So before it? you go there, Dr. Grove, we do have Robert holding on. Well, let's, let's, issue. let's grab Robert, Robert. I'm going to, I'm going to bring Robert into the show right here. Robert, Dr. Mark Darrow, Dr. Thomas Grove, you have lower neck issues. We deal with that all the time. We just had a woman actually come in uh, late afternoon yesterday with the same issues. She was suffering. I'll let you tell the story, Dr. Grove. This is a very complex case, and it had some issues that um, people don't know about that can happen when there is laxity in the ligaments in the neck. It can go anywhere in the body. So give us a, a, a little talk about what happened with this woman yesterday. What we're describing is a whiplash injury. So it's the patient who had a, a whiplash event. So typically it's going to be, you know, a, a high velocity fall or it's going to be a car accident. Uh, in this case, it was a snowboarding accident, which we see pretty frequently. Uh, we treat a very active population, so it's a pretty common mechanism that we see for injuries. Plus and years, plus years of ballet. Of, She's of been dancing, having yeah. seven years of uh, spinning, and um, so do you remember what the weird thing about her condition was? She was yes. having nausea. Yeah, so she had some associated what we call autonomic symptoms. So a lot of times when we have problems in our in our neck, we can also irritate the nerves of uh, the autonomic nervous system. That's the sympathetic and parasympathetic system I'm sure you guys have heard of, the fight or flight system. So a lot of times when these nerves uh, get irritated or now you have poor biomechanics because of the whiplash injury, you can have these sort of symptoms. Sometimes it's headaches, sometimes it's nausea, sometimes it's ringing in the ears. And those are pretty common scenarios that we see. And um, for those of you that want to write this down, it's it sounds strange, but you can look it up. It's real. It's called Barre-Liu syndrome. Don't ask me to spell it. <laughs> it's like B-A-R-R-E. And then another word, L-E-I-U or L-I-E-U or something like that. But you'll see it. Um, Google is a great uh, handbook for everybody. And I always tell my patients, and, and on the radio I tell people, look up the terms you hear that we're talking about. And um, if you want to see what they look like, in the upper left-hand corner is um, a little button that says images. You can actually see your own anatomy and see what's going on. Because most patients um, hear these terms and they 
They they don't know what how to spell it. They don't know what it is. Their doctor tells it to them. They get terrified. I've got blah, blah, blah. And, uh, you know, the problem is our job, Dr. Grove and I, what we really do is we take away the diagnosis that the patient has. Most doctors who refer to us have the wrong diagnosis to begin with. And the reason we know that is because we'll look at their images and we'll see what it is the doctor's talking about. Then we touch the body. That is the biggest thing. We have to use examination skills that go back to my grandfather's day. My grandfather was a doctor born in the 1800s, and I was forced as a little boy to hang out with him on Sundays to learn the trade. You know, medicine really is an apprenticeship. Even in medical school, you're learning a lot, but it's really being around the doctors that know how to do it and watching them is where we learn the most. And Dr. Grove and I have done tons of surgery. We know anatomy pretty well. And um, Dr. Grove is amazing with ultrasound. By the way, don't go to a doctor if you're getting musculoskeletal injections, getting platelets or stem cells, or even if you're going to get a steroid shot, dexamethasone, cortisone. We don't like that. But if you do it, make sure that doctor is using an ultrasound. Otherwise, the studies show that solution, whatever it is, is not going to the area at least a third of the time. That's not good. So let's, we've got Robert and Frida here, or Freda. Let's ask Robert some questions. So Robert, your lower neck hurts. How long has it been going on for? Robert, are you there? My 34-year-old son. And can you hear me? Yes. Yeah, we got you. Okay. Um, uh, he, around 2008, he was, uh, he got, had a surfing accident and uh, it sounded like he got, face planted on the bottom of the ocean by a big wave um so i guess kind of a whiplash injury sure and then um he went through college with quite a bit of discomfort and uh but he thought it was school stress until 2014 he started having neurologic symptoms weakness and uh numbness in all four extremities and the mri showed a ruptured i think it's c56 okay uh disc pushing the spinal cord like a right angle. Sure. And uh, we went to a neurosurgeon, and, and uh, he said, well, you got to operate because if you get hit, that you know you could be quadriplegic or dead. Of course. If that spinal cord snaps. And uh, we tried to find alternatives. We didn't, weren't successful. So he, he said, I got, I got to do something. So he went for the surgery. It solved the, the immediate problem, but he's been... You know, he's had pain ever since. And How long the, ago was his surgery? This was in uh, November 2014. Oh, so surgery and, was 10 years ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, we we talked to the neurosurgeon and uh, about it, about, you know, he's still having a lot of problems and pain past when, you know, it seems like he should. And the neurosurgeon's kind of, well, you know, he's a sensitive guy. <laughs> and it's like, oh, so you think it's in his head? <laughs> yeah. Where is the pain have... at? Is he having pain in the neck? Um, he has uh, pain in the neck. He has now also. So uh, finally, uh, several years ago, he he was admitted to Cedar Sinai, and they found that the disc above the fusion is bulging. And now, just recently, he found he has a lumbar bulge. Because he's got getting some peripheral neuropathy in, in his uh, feet, and uh, he's been trying chiropractic care, all different methods for this whole time, and nothing's really helped. And we're wondering if is there a way to undo, you know, this bulge above the disc and the future problems with uh, with the above and below the fusion and the, the lumbar bulge, and, I mean, is there a way to get these discs back in? Is that Okay, Robert, uh, may I speak for a moment? Help? I, got, I got the question here. Um, the, the answer is bulging discs don't hurt, okay? Okay. So they get operated on all the time, but for no reason. And, uh, yeah. and we know this because MRIs are done on people, X-rays are done on people as experimental, um, ways of finding if people that have no pain have bulging discs or herniated discs. So I have herniated discs in my neck and my back. I don't have any pain. All right. Does that tell you something? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to guess 
you know, you can't you can't shut the gate after the horse is out. So I'm not looking backwards or blaming anybody. You know, the culture of surgery is the culture of surgery. But he probably did not need that surgery. <clears throat> I wasn't there. I don't know. I didn't examine him. But we see it all the time where people don't need a surgery. They're ready for a surgery. Um, we have people all the time who says, I'm getting a, they say, I'm getting a surgery next week. And a friend just forced me to come over or a friend will drag him in for our examination. And we find they don't need a surgery. We have saved thousands and thousands of people over the years from surgery. I mean, I cannot tell you how many. And in most of these cases, the surgeon says, you've got to get this done right away. Okay. So this isn't a dig against surgeons. We love surgeons. Dr. Grove and I love doing surgery. We respect the surgeons we work with. And um, we think they're the hardest working people in medicine. They have a lot on their back. You know, a lot of people die out of surgery or have terrible side effects. But the scenario is just very common, you know, to have a surgery and then have pain afterwards, sometimes a lot worse than it was before the surgery. So <clears throat> we would need to touch his neck, <clears throat> find out where the pain is being generated from. And, you know, I'm just going to say it like this. I haven't touched him. I don't know him. But as a generality, there's probably a 90% chance we can help him. All right? Okay. So the reason for that that we're talking about, just, just so you're aware, so the disc we get really excited about because we want to operate on this thing, but really it's what we call the functional unit. So it's a different way of looking at anatomy here, but we look at the supportive structures around a, an injured area, right? So very, very commonly um, you'll have a disc bulge, but really what's going on is behind the disc, a lot of times the ligaments, the muscle attachments uh, that help provide stability to that spine are really the areas you want to go after and try to heal. And the reason we say that is because when we inject these areas and we, and we heal these tissues, pain gets much, much better for patients. Not to say it's this exact situation, but I'm telling you, it's a very common scenario that we see in the clinic. Yeah, I mean, we can't tell you anything over the radio. You know, it's got to be hands-on. And um, right. I get emails all day long with people from all over the world saying, I've got this or I've got that. Should I send my MRI or X-ray? I go, no, it has nothing to do with you. And they they can't believe it. I had one guy come to the office and... Um, he said, I've got my images in the car. I can't lift them. And I go, what? He goes, I've had so many images that they're too heavy for me to lift. And that was back in the day when they were on sheets. You know, they weren't in a, in a CD. So I went to, I walked out to his car and literally it was about 30 pounds of images. And um, I brought him in and he said, I want you to look at all these. And I go, I'm not going to because it gives me a false idea of what's going on with you. I said, I'm going to examine you first, and then if I think I don't have the answer, I'll look at all the images, okay? It's good to have images. We like them. I found a couple of cancers by mistake. You know, we weren't looking for them. Uh, there was a lymphoma once um, in a lung. By, we found it by looking at um, an x-ray of a shoulder. There was a bleb in a lung where a guy who was a deep sea diver could have died. Uh, we were looking at his shoulder. So these things do happen. There was an ultrasound once. We were looking at a shoulder, and we saw a cancer in there. So, yeah, I like the images, but they don't really help us very much in terms of the type of medicine we do. We're looking for the pain generator. We don't care where the image says the problem is because we know the studies show the images can be incorrect, meaning we do studies on people that have zero pain and they have herniated discs. They have labral tears in the shoulder and the hip. They have meniscal tears, but they have no pain. So are you going to operate on someone that has a, that quote problem that's not really a problem? No. So we get underneath traditional medicine. Okay. Traditional medicine to me is a dinosaur. It's on its way out. You know, this whole thing of medicating people, these medicines are terrible for people. Sometimes people need them. If you've got super high blood pressure and you're going to stroke, you need a blood pressure medicine. Do you need medicine to lower cholesterol? Nope. Hang with us. We're going to go to Robert and Freda after the break. We short. Give us a call. 866-870-5752. Live and local, as Dr. Gene used to say. 
866-870-5752. And we will send you out a free copy of our book, Stem Cell and Platelet Therapy, just for calling in. You're listening to Living Pain-Free with Dr. Mark Darrow. Dr. Darrow's practice is located at the Joint Rehab and Sports Medical Center in West Los Angeles. To schedule an appointment, call 1-800-300-9300. That's 1-800-300-9300. Dr. Darrow will be back in just a moment. Stay tuned. 